Why, hello there everybody. How are you doing today? It's me, again. And again, I'm here to get, bring you yet another update, and still today, my phone has not rung. And still today, I confidently say my phone has not rung. Yet. Because it's going to. Now, I've only been telling you all for years to prepare yourself for this very day. What, do you, what exactly are you going to do when you find out that your guy, your gal, is a fake and a fraud and a counterfeit? That your guy, that your gal, has been lying to you? That your guy, your gal, believes that they are up here and you are way down there? You're inconsequential. You are irrelevant. <laughs> what exactly are you going to do when accountability shows up at your doorstep? Because, hello, it's, it's going to. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Prepare yourself. I've been telling you what to do for three years. Seek the face of your creator. God up. Seek the face of Almighty God. Armor up. Armor up with the armor of Almighty God. Then if you're a man, man up. If you're a woman, woman up. And then stand. Stand. Uncompromising. Just stand. And refuse to, bu to budge. And how do you know you're doing the right, you're standing in the right spot? Well, because you've got it up. You've gotten to a good relationship with your creator. And that's what you're seeing happen right before you, you're seeing all the fakes and frauds and counterfeits. You're seeing exactly how many of them there are. And you are seeing that there is nothing too big. There is no such thing as too big to fail. Uh, hello, fascist book. Uh, I, I understand, I've, I've heard a couple of different reports. You all have lost, what, between 35 and 41 billion dollars. Wow. And you still want to be control freaks? You still think that you are unstoppable? Well, uh, fascist book, here, let me help you out with this. If you did it, what makes you think that there isn't someone else out there who is capable of doing the very same thing? Creating another platform. Same thing for YouTube, you. Well, I got news for both of you. Facebook, you are about to be facepalmed. And Tube, you, you are about to be tubed. Because we're t we are tired of being treated as if we are possessions. And the only reason why we're tired of it is because that's how you all have been treating us. And hey, fascist book, it, look, you can do whatever you want to do. But chances are real good you're going to keep being the control freaks that you are because, well, hello, you all are control freaks. So it won't be very much longer before, well, you're not even around. Just keep doing, you just keep being you, we'll just keep being us, and we'll just see who's still standing at the end of the day. How about that? Oh, same thing goes for you too, tube you. Same thing. Tweeter, same thing. Uh, Google, look, same thing. <laughs> you started out in the, just because you just because you are on the top today does not mean you're going to be on the top tomorrow or the day after. Doesn't even mean you're going to exist. Again, the word of God is clear. The word of God is true. You're not. No one is promised tomorrow. Oh, that's right, you don't believe the Word of God because, well, you don't have a relationship with Him. That's okay. That's okay. You're finding out what, exactly what happens when you do not have a relationship with your Creator. Now, all of these fakes and frauds and counterfeits are being outed. Now, it's all of you people that have, that, that, that all of you people who are professing to know everything and who are relying, trusting and relying on another man to do for you. You know, well, we got to get in our guy, and he'll make sure that everything's done right. Well, hello, what in the world do you think, uh, how in the world do you think we got into this situation? By relying on a guy or a gal, your guy, your gal, to go in there and do the right thing. Because they, they, they lied to you. 
you just found out, you are finding out now that all of these staunch, and again, I can only speak for conservative people because I don't know, I don't hang around in liberal circles. I could really care less about them. But all of these staunch, upright, constitutional conservatives, you're finding out they're, they're, they're really liberal. They really want nothing more. They don't want freedom. They want control over you. So what do they do? Why well, they do the very same thing that the other side does. They bribe. If you do this for me, I'll give you this. If one man gives you something, if one, sa if one man comes to you, and just think of this, if one man says, I will let you do something, they believe that they are up here, they are in charge, light bulbs coming on, and you, you have no other choice. You, you, you are completely dependent upon them until all of a sudden you go out and you do it on your own without their permission, without their help, without their assistance, and then, and then you find out that, hello, that person, light bulb's coming on, just lied to me. The question that remains is, how many, now that you know that you've been lied to, what exactly are you going to do? Are you going to keep going back and believing the lie? You're seeing all the fakes and frauds and counterfeits, and, and, it's, and, and stop putting everybody into a group. Again, I just saw last night uh, that one there is one uh, township in Southern California, one city in Southern California that said, you know what, no, we don't want, we're, we're not going to observe the sanctuary rules. We do not want to be a sanctuary city. Criminals, stay away. It only takes one. It only takes one. Do not stop saying that everybody out in California is bad, because they're not all bad. You just need to start, you need to stop talking about all the stupid people and start talking about all the law-abiding citizens, folks. Quit your daggum complaining and start doing. Period. The question is, now that you see, what exactly are you going to do when you find out that your guy, your gal is a fake and a fraud and a counterfeit? You're seeing them clear as day. I'm not gonna. I don't have to name any names. All you got to do is listen to some conservative voices. That's it. They tell you who's who. Who who handed over the uh, fake dossier? Who delivered the fake dossier? Oh wow, Songbird McCain. John McCain is the one that handed it over. He's the one that validated it. He knew it was a lie. Paul Rubber Ryan, same thing. Mitch and Ditch McConnell. Folks, they got to go. It's time to remove them. They have not, they, they are criminals. Why do you think they're so scared? Why do you think, even in the year 2018 now, President Trump still does not have his full, all of his positions filled? They're running, they're running up there. It, it should be a 24-cylinder engine, and they're running on four cylinders. Imagine what would happen if he got all of his people put in there. You heard me right. He still doesn't have his entire people. But why? Why He doesn't have his entire staff. Why? Well, because his staff comes in and gets rid of all the fakes and frauds and counterfeits. Look at them all going. Look at them all leaving. Look at, look at what has happened. He has outed the FBI. He's still standing. And, and all he did was just, he just told the truth. He, he had no hooks in him. And he told you that from the, from the get-go, from the election, from the campaign. I'm using my own money. These people don't owe me anything. I'm not doing it for them. I'm not doing it for special interests. Hello, light bulb's coming on. I'm doing it for you, the American people. Why do you do the things that you do? Period. Are you doing it because, well, uh, you, you, you're you going to get something out of it? Well, you're not a servant. Stay away from me. I don't want nothing to do with you. Because you're, you're my friend today. You, you're a fair weather friend. You're only my friend if there's something for you. If there's any kind of roughness, that's why I don't mind. I don't mind going through what I'm going through. Because I can see who be for me and who be against me. Who be... Who, who be dead weight 
and who be helping helping support. And I only need a few people to help and support me. Period. There's a lot of people. Once my situation is going to be resolved, uh, once my situation is resolved, and it's going to. Just like our country's problems are going to be resolved. These fakes and frauds are out the door. They will be cuffed. They will be stuffed. There is nothing that you can do to stop this. Period. Once my situation is resolved, then that's when everybody comes and going to come back and, Oh, okay, okay, okay. And I'm going to say, oh, I'm sorry. Who are you again? Who are you? Uh-huh. Bye. Go back and go back and do your little busy work. I ain't got nothing for you. Nothing. So that's what's going on in this country. The very same thing. President Trump got up in there and he had the audacity to pull back behind the, the, the curtain and said, "Hey, what's back here?" He had the he had the audacity to shine a light and call the fakes and frauds fakes and frauds to call the liars, liars. And now we're all celebrating the fact that, hello, I'm glad you did it. Because the liars are the ones that cause all the problems. The liars, they, they, are convi they, they go out to prove that they're right and try to set people up. Why do you think all these, all this, all of these uh, like the porn star, President Trump had, had sex with, with a porn star, what, 30 years ago or something? I don't know. Don't know. While they forget about Bill, Billy Bob, Bill Clinton in, in the White House. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talk talking about. Monica Lewis. These people have no standard. They have no standard. All they can do is throw lies. So, once you find out that it's not true, once you find out that it's not true, how in the world do you prove, by the way, that someone did, that, that someone had a extramarital affair 30 years ago. How do you prove that? And why in the world did they wait, oh, light bulbs, so long to come forward? Hey, you see it time and time again. All, they, they all, that's what they always bring out is sex. Always bring out sex. And all of these, all of these accusations, well, hello, he's not, President Trump's not sweating it because, well, it didn't happen. He knows it didn't happen, so okay, bye. See you later. It's nobody's business. Period. Period. So now the last thing is the media. The media is doing the same thing. They're, they're pulling themselves down. They are, they are wasting away. They are falling apart. Why? Because, well, they've been caught in a lie. It's very simple. All of the liars are being outed for being a liar. Now, what exactly are you going to do? Are you going to sit there and continue to believe the lie as if it was the truth? You know, drink the Kool-Aid, keep popping the stupid pills, keep being lied to, keep being lied about? Or are you going to demand that, the sta that you not be lied to and that the standard be the standard of truth. Because, because, hey, hello, you want to keep believing lies? Fine. Then nothing will ever get done. You will never accomplish anything. But as soon as you wake up and you realize, hmm, the truth, it is the knowledge of the truth that makes men free then you will be free to be, you will be free to, one, choose to not believe the lie, two, choose not to tell any more lies, and three, choose to start doing. So, what exactly are you going to do? Are you going to keep sitting there, believing the lies, be a good little slave and believe the lies? Or are you going to See the light. Acknowledge the truth. Live in truth. Tell truth. Tell the truth. And live by the truth. 
The only one that can answer that question is you. But there is no stopping this. This is over and done with. Hello. The fakes and frauds and counterfeits are going to be cuffed and stuffed and removed. It's time for you, who have been professing to, to have the answers, time to step up, time to start doing. Because if you don't, well then Almighty God will raise up men and women who are willing to tell the truth, who are willing to uphold their oaths, who are, who are willing to be godly, righteous authorities, and who are willing to serve you, me, we, the people, and you will be left behind. The only one that can make the decision for you is you. So, what exactly are you going to do? Just saying.